just because that dollar store children's toy package reads harmless or non-toxic on the package doesn't mean it's 100% safe. Well, an Illinois family learned this lesson the hard way when their three-year-old daughter wound up in the hospital after playing with a toy makeup kit. What started as harmless game of dress up led to swelling, hives, and blisters all over the toddler's face and body. So the couple first spoke out about this incident on Facebook, wrote within 24 hours of using this kit, the three-year-old's eyes became swollen, blistered shut, said she developed a rash on her entire body, was unable to eat due to blistering, cracked lips. So doctors determined that it was an allergic reaction from this makeup. And, and not that surprising. No because I think that when you buy something like this from the dollar store, remember it's being sold as a toy, so it, the makeup is not being regulated the same way that cosmetics you might buy in a department store or Target or wherever you might shop are typically regulated and many of these so-called toy makeup sets are coming from abroad. They're not regulated by the CPSC. If we turn around this box and you look at it, just to read you some of the ingredients in these, you can't even pronounce them. I mean, it's it's really phenoxyethanol, panthenol, ethyl hexyl glycerin, uh, you know, things like initials, like TBHQ. I don't even, well, I'm a dermatologist. That's, that's a I have no idea what that experiment. is. There should be a yeah. so, yeah. so just so, be careful with, <laughs> when you're playing dress up, just be careful yeah. with the makeup you're using, Me Jorge, myself. okay? <laughs> I use nothing but the best. Yeah. <laughs> I, feel, I, feel so, I feel really bad, and like you said, it's not made in the United States. It's not regulated, but we have to protect our babies. And you know, I feel as though you have something in the little girl, she just wanted to have a good time. So if you say that it's a makeup set and kids will be able to use it, then you have to make sure the products are really gentle enough so that kids can use it. I'm shocked that when it enters the country that there aren't certain guidelines. I mean, to me, yeah. that's uh, well, parents a lawsuit should be waiting aware. to be They need to be detectives. Anything new that your kid is coming in contact with, I mean, makeup for sure, but anything potential for severe allergic reactions.